Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Jocelyn Lovely Tarot. So good to see you guys here today. Today's reading is going to be for my Aquarius. If you guys resonate with the video, like, share, and subscribe. If you guys want any personal readings, again, uh, hit me up at jocelynlovely84 at gmail. And if you have any questions or anything, you can also contact me there, okay? Today, I decided, for whatever reason, I was drawn to read from the Starseed Oracle deck. And then I used the Lunda L. Okay, so I don't get that message all of the time, but there was something in there that I needed to see, okay? So the first card that comes out is the seven star uh, sisters, right? I want you to pay attention to every part here because it's the same person. It's just a different aspect, a different position, a different viewpoint of life, a different personality in life, right? So this is you. A very many aspects of you just dancing, waiting for you to acknowledge them, waiting for you to meet the other and embrace them as gracefully as you can, right? But because it's seven different personalities, they don't all see eye to eye. But it is your job ultimately to make sure that every part of you is kind of understanding one another or understanding what the purpose of each individual characteristic represents or is for in your life, right? Here you are with the Two of Cups. Again, it's like seeing that, yes, although this part is so different, right? This could be you when you're, you know, thinking. This is could, the way, this could be the way you think, the way you approach life. This could be one of your viewpoints. But this could be like a part of your personality that just wants to be loved and accepted by everyone, right? So this is like, uh, for example, one aspect of you and this is the other. These are completely different. Nonetheless, these are still a part of you. And the hardest part about a person is, this is why we have projections, right? We project onto others. Um, they're all mirrors, so if there's parts of you that you see in others that you really don't like and then you inspect thoroughly within self and realize, okay, so this in another lifetime or another, if, 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 if looking at it from a different viewpoint, I am this way too. It's just not some part of me that I'm the most accepting of. It's some part of me that I might just fear within myself. How can I still embrace this part of self in the most healthy way? How can I still make this a part of my everyday routine? How can I make these two parts of self work together as a whole? The next card that comes in is cracked open. Right? It's like, it's like, it's saying you're hitting rock bottom and then just surrendering to the alchemy of life, right? Because again, this is parts of self transmuting parts of self but i'm getting more here if you take a look at this character it looks like she's actually trying to stitch herself back together hold herself back together i'm getting more of trying to merge and form perfect union right because again it's different aspects of self but at the end of the day when you take a look at this one character that's ripped apart trying to make one whole what does that create perfect union and I think that's a whole, a very big part of life. It's not the main part of life, but it's a very big part of life. Probably one of the main parts, okay? It's, it's becoming one with self, whether that's the parts of you that you hate, the parts of you that you fear, the parts of you that, 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 that you love so easily, or the parts of self that people manipulate and love to manipulate, right? And here you are at the end of the day saying life is your canvas, right? Because the whole point is this is what you're trying to aim at. You're trying to gather every piece of self and make it become one. You want to reclaim every version, right? Because here's the thing about strength, right? Power and, 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 and those quotes that are always heavily said. When you're not aware of different aspects of you, whether that's parts of self that you hate or not, which should, at the end of the day, I don't think you could judge any part of self. Let's just be honest. I don't think anyone can because we all have aspects of self that we just fucking hate right so here you are it, when you don't collect or reclaim parts of self what happens you become in danger and vulnerable to others seeing those qualities within you that you have not claimed and they could use those parts of self to manipulate you they can manipulate you because they know you haven't grasped a certain aspect of yourself early and that's the part of self that's more willing to abandon you or you're the part type of person that is willing to abandon that part of self so what does the opposite opposition do they could use that against you Right? Because they know you're not well-rounded. They know you haven't figured it out yet. Right? Whereas, whereas you're the person that you don't want that to happen. So what do you do? 
you become aware of every part of self, right? And it's part of the discovery. We can't always figure every part of self forever right away. It takes years to get into that practice. So here you are finding another aspect of self that you don't really like, that, but you realize it's hindering you. It's causing you delays. It's causing you to not become even more whole even more in peace, even more in perfect union, right? So here you are trying to admit it, accept it, just digest the fact that this is a part of you, whether you want to admit it or not, whether that's a part of you that you hate or you're afraid of. People, you know, people always talk about the parts of self that they hate, but they never talk about the parts of self that they're afraid of. This is an aspect of you that you're so afraid to admit to or to just even admit that this, that this can be you, that you forget about it. But here you are trying to digest it and here you are trying to accept it and make it yours, right? And when you do that, you become the magician. The magician is aware of every tool at its disposal and it's this loves to discover parts of self because you know what it could do once it realizes that this is a part of its home? What do you do when you have another layer of, of, of your house added, right? Another layer, another portion of, of, of discovery added to your house. Oh, here's another room. This is what I can use this room for. Right? So here's a magician discovering another layer of its cave. And now it can use it for something. It could store stuff in there. It could use it for for whatever it desires, right? Because it's a magician. You can create, build a uh, disguise. You can hide it and, and, and keep, make it a secret chamber room. You can do whatever you want with it. Here is a magician discovering this other part of self and using it, adding it to its tools of uh, its um, tools. Right, adding it, adding it into its belt of tools, right, and 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 realizing what it could use this thing that it's afraid of, that it's essentially his or hers, and makes it art. It makes it, or 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 includes it into the home. What do you do now? Here you are with this new discovery of self and working on it. How does this? claiming this part of fear that I have within myself, how is this going to be utilized? How can I put it to work? Because it's a page of swords energy. It's you coming up with new ideas. How can I, for example, if this is a character defect and you use it for bad, not bad, but you over, overuse this characteristic, how do, you, how do you hone this? How do you hone this and make this a part of your skill set instead of a hindrance, instead of something you're using to harm yourself or, or it becomes detrimental? How do you hone this skill, make it yours? How do you master this skill that is essentially yours to, 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 to master and then use it to your advantage? There's this one saying that I had a friend say um, to me, don't ever let an enemy know it's your enemy right because some sometimes i remember i'm that type of person where i get very angry and i let people i let people know right away that i don't like them by just the way i present myself to them my friend always told me that is a in a war of battle that is that is not what you do you never tell your enemy you don't like them because when it comes down to it they'll know that you're their enemy and you're the first person they're coming towards and you know what? At first I thought that was wrong. You shouldn't lie. You shouldn't do stuff like that. But as a magician, throughout the years, you realize that people do play those type of games. People, in any situation you're in, people will try to destroy you if they don't like you. People will have resentments or grudges towards you and are more easily influenced to throw you under the bus if they know you don't like them. So here I am as a magician collecting that information, that data that my friend gave me years ago, and I've never looked at people the same ever since. I understood that just because I'm honest and to the point, that doesn't mean people are the same way as I am. So what am I going to do is I'm going to use that. If I don't like somebody, I'm going to use that at my disposal and just keep it within myself. Not let people really um, own my emotions. I own them. I hone them. I become skillful at honing my own emotions. And what has that taught me to be better, smarter? It could be used as artist deception, right? But that's just the game we all play in a way in life. So I've learned to master that and it's taught me a lot about myself, how there's still areas of myself that I need to bring in and harness and make mine because I don't want people using my defects or the things that I, I haven't accepted of self and use them against me. So, all right, guys, that's all I have for you, my beautiful Aquariuses. I hope you guys got something out of this. If you do, great. I love you guys. Bye.